I had decided to go back and find the bear skull that Hannah came prancing out of the forest with on a walk a couple of weeks ago. We hadn't seen that playful side of Hannah in quite some time as she's been battling cancer and her trigeminal nerve sheath tumor is progressing. This past couple of weeks has been extremely challenging with her as she's been waxing and waning. We nearly put her down, but she's still fighting. Fortunately though, she scratched her eye so badly that we had no choice but to remove it a few days ago. It turns out this bear skull has more meaning to me than I knew at the time, so I aim to clean it up and give it new life. Hey everyone, so today I wanted to mill up a little bit more lumber to take out for my little cabin build. And what I'm working on next is the roof boards. Now I do have a supply of roof boards down where the cabin is, but I'm not quite sure if it's quite enough to cover. Again, I don't really like plan things that well. So I imagine I will need a little bit more. If I have leftover by chance, I'll probably just use those on the walls even though I don't think they're gonna be quite the same thickness. I think if I stay, you know, I think the roof boards are five eighths of an inch thick. And what I was planning on doing for the walls was three quarters of an inch thick. So somewhere in between there, if I stick around in there, nothing is drying the same anyway. So I imagine a little bit of difference is okay. The cedar log that I've put on the mill here is I don't have a whole lot of choice around right now. I have the lodgepole pine and I think my plan was to use the bulk of that lodgepole pine that's been sitting there since last year with the beetle kill staining in it for the walls. So I'm not touching that right now. The only other things that I've got are this cedar. So that's what I'm gonna use. Structurally speaking, cedar is not the strongest as most of you guys probably know. Um, but I think that the odd piece of cedar in mixed with the rest of the roof boards is going to be okay. And the other thing that I want to get out of this log is some thicker, some fascia board basically. So to give my rafter tails a little bit extra length, I was going to add a piece of fascia. A few people had suggested that as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think maybe I'll do like an inch and a half thick, maybe two inches. I'll see what I can get out of this log. But that would give me a little bit extra overhang for my roof and it's cedar. So that's what I would wanna use for that fascia board. And yeah, for my rafter tails, I think I'm just gonna leave them square cut because it's simple and it is what it is now. And all I gotta do is tack on the fascia board and be done with it. And yeah, so... Let's get into milling this. One of the things that was suggested to me that I didn't know uh, is to take the, like release the torque wrench often. Um, so I don't know if anyone else knew that, but maybe helpful hint to others. So I have never done that. Um, so hopefully I remember to do that. <laughs> and make some adjustments here.
teetered here. That's all I'm going to do for now. Um, I don't want to have too many roof boards that are cedar. I have what I need for the fascia board. And I'm going to go through my pile of lumber in the under my shed here and just take out some stuff that I think is going to be used at some point because I feel like the more materials I have out there to work with, the better off I'm at. So I'm going to pick through there because at some point I'm going to need like strapping for the roof. And yeah, so I'll stack all this up, take it to my truck. And yeah, I'm hopefully going to be able to go out there tomorrow. Today is Saturday. And let me, let me shoot you. Releasing my torque wrench. to take Hannah to get her eye taken out. It's out of town. I stopped in at, there's a restore, like Habitat for Humanity restore. So I grabbed, I just about had a window, you guys. Oh, I was thinking about it. There was like pretty good size windows. Ugly white vinyl was the, my hesitation. Um, anyway, I was gonna think about it. I went back and it sold. Dang, I need one more window for the walls. Uh, and then I have the gable end windows to sort out, but I can do that at another time. Anyway, one of the other things I got was a mattress, like a twin size. It's brand new. One of those like mattress in a boxes. So they're like regular 750 bucks and it was 250 bucks. So that'll be my bed. And then I got a chair um, just to take out there to keep out there and have on my porch. I need to take the little camping chair home. So I'm going to take this out there. It has to be something that's rat proof and like wipeable. So this is solid, no vinyl. It's like hard plastic and stainless steel. So that should be good. I might paint it, but anyway. Mm -hmm. 